Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX returned to the red zone today as it fell by 18.30 points or 0.35% today and settled at 5,234 points. Market turnover was 3.49 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 6.67% compared to the previous trading day. Square Pharmaceuticals, Beacon Pharmaceuticals and Kohinoor Chemicals from the pharmaceutical sector, Walton High Tech, BSRM Steels and Khan Brothers PP Woven Bag from the industrial sector, and Summit Power, MJL Bangladesh and United Power Generation from the fuel and power sector mainly dragged down the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, the telecommunication sector and tannery sector both posted a gain of 0.32%. On the other hand, the mutual fund sector posted the highest loss of 0.80% today. Four pharmaceuticals, three insurance and three industrial companies were among the top 20 losers today. Global Heavy Chemicals, Central Pharmaceuticals and AFC Agro Biotech registered the highest gain while Con Brothers PP Woven Bag Industries, Kohinoor Chemicals and Kulna Printing and Packaging were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of Global Heavy Chemicals, CAPM BDBL Mutual and Prime Bank First, ICB AMCL Mutual, increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. Export prices of locally made garments in Bangladesh have declined by 8 to 16 percent year-on-year over the past eight months, according to the Bangladesh Garment Manufacturers and Exporters Association, BGMEA. This decrease is attributed to reduced international market prices driven by a fall in demand from consumers facing high inflationary pressures due to the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war. Additionally, the volume of garments exported to major markets has shown a declining trend over the past 10 months. Authorities are actively working to address and resolve these issues. Remittances inflow to Bangladesh exceeded US$2 billion to US$2.14 billion in the first 29 days of May 2024, which is a 38% increase compared to the same period last year. It is assumed that the remittances inflow has started to rise because the central bank has raised the dollar rate by 7 Bangladeshi takas to 117 Bangladeshi takas in a single day. But now the banks are buying remittance dollars at 118 Bangladeshi takas to 119. And including government incentives, the remitters are getting almost 121 Bangladeshi takas per dollar. That's all for today. Thank you.